What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aquarius, and you enjoy the content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for sign of Aquarius. This can resonate with Aquarius in any aspects of your chart: Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter chart. So, for the basics, time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective greetings. Love you guys so much. Thanks for all the love and support to the channel. Thanks for all the uh, shares of my content. I greatly appreciate it. Um, okay, so I received one channel message as I was meditating on your energy, Aquarius, for 1115 of 2022 to 1122 of 22. I heard an Aquarius has already gotten a huge wake-up call. Some about a Libra. Some about a uh, Gemini, some about an Aquarius, some are about some Aquariuses are about to get a huge wake up call. Some about a Libra, some about Aquarius, some about a Gemini. So some of you guys have already gotten huge wake up calls about Aquariuses, Libras, or um, Sag. I mean Aquarius. I'm sorry. Some of you Aquariuses are, have already gotten huge wake up calls. Some about a Libra, some about a Sag, some about a Gem Gemini already. Some you're about to about. An Aquarius, uh, not Aquarius, you are Aquarius. About a Libra, Sag, or Gemini. Libra, Sag, or Gem Gemini, whether you've already gotten it or you're about to. They could have Libra, Sag, or Gemini in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Haven, Jupiter charts. If that resonates and applies for you, um, Aquarius. Libra, Sag, or Gemini, whether you've already gotten the wake up call or you're about to. Spirit messages you have signed, Aquarius. For some, you can be dealing with an earth sign or a water sign. If you are, they can have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Haven, Jupiter charts, if you are. Okay, I just heard take it. This, I got four out. Usually I don't take the fourth, but I just heard take it. It was November. Heart, love, deep affection, and caring. Purse, pay attention to your finances. Ladder, climbing towards success, November. Spirit messages you have signed Aquarius. Grace, number 49, could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 49, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, or any other significant number, number 49. Grace. A very, very high position of high authority, light side Aquarius is about to make a very important phone call. To another very, very, very high position of authority, it's about to be very, very, very effective. It's regarding a family in the past. Abuse and exploitation of the family in the past. It's about to be very effective. It's about to help this family out in huge ways. Okay, so you plug in and help resonate. So, for one of you guys, you're a very, 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 high, very, very high position of authority, Aquarius, light side. So, you treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. Sorry, ma'am. Um, you're about to make another important uh, a phone call to another very, very, very high position of authority, light side being two. Um, I didn't hear a sign on that person. You have to plug them in how they resonate. I didn't hear who it was. Only you know who that is, not anybody else. But I heard it's going to be very effective. It's regarding some kind of abuse and exploitation of a family in the past. But whatever this phone call is, you're going to make to this other light side individual, very, very high position of authority. It's going to be very important and very effective. That could be the uh, caring Maybe you have love, deep affection, and caring for this family that was abused and exploited. 
or love, deep affection and caring for the situation. It doesn't have to be like mm -hmm, love, like romantic love. It can just be caring, heart chakra energy towards the family. And I feel it is heart chakra energy towards the family, not sexual. Um, and I think you're going to be very successful. I heard you will be very successful. So climbing towards success, this phone call. And I think you're going to make it in November. Going to make it soon. Going to make it soon. So you're going to make it soon. And I think it's going to be a uh, grace, some kind of graceful situation. I think you're going to handle it with grace and tact. Um, or there will be some kind of grace for the family or something. This is going to be a very, very, very important phone call. Very. It is going to be life-changing for this family. It is going to be a very, very, very important phone call. It's going to be life-changing for this family. So, uh, sir, ma'am, very, very high position authority, light side Aquarius. It's going to be very life-changing in a positive way, I'm presuming, for this family. They were abused and exploited in the past. Um, it's, I think, some kind of act of grace. Um, I heard it's going to be very, very, very good for this family. So, whoever you're about to contact, only you know who you're about to contact, sir, ma'am. For one of you guys, you could be the one about to be contacted because energies can reverse, reverse. So either you're going to contact or you're going to be contacted or you could fit in both situations. How that resonates in the class. Zebra? An earth sign, child, through many series of chain of events, is about to be reinstated back into a very prestigious program. Another earth sign is about to help with this. An earth sign, child, is about to be reinstated back into a very prestigious program. I heard another earth sign is about to help with this. So you plug it in how it resonates so i think this is the earth sign child um i heard it's a very prestigious program um it doesn't sound like the, it sounds like the child used to be in it but they're not in it anymore but for many series of chain of events they're about to be reinstated back into it um and it sounds like an earth sign is going to help you or help the child or help the situation it sounds like an earth sign adult is going to help the child um, a Taurus Capricorn Virgo adult is going to help reinstate them back into it. But I think this is the earth sign child. They're coming in as a zebra energy. I think they're very, um, I, they're very gifted. They're very gifted. Very, very creative, very gifted, very talented, very skilled. Very gifted, very talented, very creative, creative and very skilled. So they have the, you notice the trifecta on the third eye chakra placement. That's creativity in the third eye chakra placement. They're very gifted, talented, skilled. This earth sign child. It's a teenager. It's a teenager. It's an earth sign teenager. Um, I think you're going to help get this child reinstated back into this very pre prestigious program, Aquarius. At least one of you, I think. That's what I think. But you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, or you might have something to do with it. It's coming in in your reading. But I will tell you, an uh, adult earth sign is going to help either you or them or what have you, what have you. Whether you are directly involved with helping get this earth sign child get reinstated back to the prestigious program or you're not. How that resonates and applies, but this is your earth sign child. They're very gifted, talented, created, skilled. They're coming out as zebra. Zebras are very majestic. They're very majestic and beautiful. And I think this child is very creative and they show their creative side. And I don't think they're afraid to show their creative side when they're in positive energy. And it sounds like they were in some kind of very prestigious program in the past, but now they're not in it. But soon they're about to be reinstated back into it through many series of chain events. That might be the grace energy here. Possibly. 
You plug it in how it resonates. Dolphin. Now, like I said, whether you help directly with this or indirectly with this, I'm not sure. Only you know how you're going to plug into this, okay? But I definitely feel this is your earth sign child. And I think they were climbing towards success in this very prestigious program. They were doing very well. Very, very, very well. Okay, I heard they were doing very, very, very well. They were doing very, very, very well, but they're not in it anymore. So I think you care about this situation. And I think for one, you're going to help get them back in it. Because they were doing very, very, very well in it. And um, I think it might happen this month, possibly in November, possibly. We still have like two weeks-ish left in November. There's about to be huge changes for this earth sign child and fire sign child. Huge positive changes. There are many series of chain events. They're both teenagers. There's about to be huge positive changes for this earth sign child and this fire sign child. Um, there are many series of chain events. Um, how that resonates and applies. They're both teenagers. So... Earth sign and fire sign child, they're both teenagers. I think they're both coming up with deeper energy, very get, talented, skilled, gifted, um, creative. Um, for the prestigious program, I just heard an earth sign teenager. But now I'm pulling in two teenagers, a fire sign teenager, Aerie Leo Sag teenager, and a Taurus Capricorn Virgo teenager. I heard through many series of chain events, they're about to, there's about to be huge changes for them, positive changes. So you plug it in, how it resonates. I think you care about this situation. Maybe you're going to help make these positive changes for these children. I think it's going to be successful. And it might happen this month in November. Dolphin. <clears throat> A very manipulative water sign is about to go down. And a Libra. And a Gemini and a Sagittarius. Oh, my God. A very manipulative Cancer Pisces Scorpio, Gemini, and a Sagittarius, and a Libra. It's about to go down. So, very manipulative energies, whether it's a Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, a Gemini energy, Libra energy, Sag energy. Uh, they're highly manipulative. I think they come across as very fun-loving and playful and what have you, what have you. But you can come across as fun-loving and playful and whatever, whatever. But... It's the, do you walk the walk? Do you talk the talk? You can be flashy all day long and manipulative all day long, but what are you really putting out in the universe? So I think that's what is going on here. They're manipulative and they're flashy and they probably look good, but what are they really putting out in the universe? And I think that's where the wake-up call energy is coming in at the beginning of this reading. Heard they're very manipulative. It's a, um, Masculine or femme, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, water sign, uh, Gemini, Sag, or Libra. They're about to go down. They're highly manipulative. Now, how they're about to go down, I don't know. It could be different for Anna Leo masculine. Anna Leo masculine. Anna Leo masculine. Uh, now, how they go down, it's all. It's going to be different ways for all of them. It's going to be different ways for all of them. That's what I heard. So, they're going to go down. It's going to be different ways for all of them. But they're all highly manipulative. And I heard a Leo masculine in there too. So you plug it in how it resonates. Heart, love, deep affection, and caring. A mother's love and passion. Is shown on the internet and it's about to really really affect a lot of people for some it is your your love for some it is another mother's love it is about to be very effective okay so heavy mother energy in here whether you are a mother um, Aquarius and your love passion and caring towards your child or somebody else's child is about to be shown very publicly on the internet 
or another mother, and I feel another sign, I heard another mother, um, heart, passion, deep affection and caring is being, uh, is about to be shown or is shown on the internet towards their child or another child. How that resonates and applies. Um, for some of you, you're going to show it very publicly on the internet or you already have, for some it's another mother, whether they already have or they're about to. Um, internet showing of deep affection and caring towards your child, somebody else's child, or a situation. Whether it's you, Aquarian mother, or another sign mother. Heard they're both going to be very effective. How that resonates and applies. Heavy mother energy. I didn't hear anything else, but I heard they're going to be very effective. I think something's going on with your child, Aquarius, or somebody else's child. And um, that's why there's some kind of public display on the internet. There's a reason it's public, and it, it doesn't sound like it's like a drama thing. It sounds like it's a care to action kind of thing. Like caring enough to take some action to make it public kind of thing. It is about to be very, very, very effective. Oh, that's double confirmation. I heard it's about to be very, very, very effective. Effective. So caring towards the situation. Mother's love. I feel this is in this aspect, it's mother's love. <laughs> Woo, excuse me. Woo. Through many series of chain events, a light side Aquarius masculine is about to really develop deep feelings for a feminine energy. Fem energy reader. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, excuse me. Okay. Through many series of chain events, a very light side Aquarius masculine. So we have a lot of light side energy in here. And that's very refreshing, especially in Aquariuses because Sometimes I pull in a lot of negative energy in Aquarius, and I'm just being for real. I pull a lot of low vibrational sometimes in here, but I'm not today, and that's good. So, um, very a lot of high vibrational energy in here. That's very refreshing to see. Love you guys. Just saying. So, whoever this is for, um, you're a light side Aquarius masculine. You can have Aquarius any aspects of your chart: Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Sun, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. But I heard through many series of chain events, you're about to fall in love. I heard love. Like, I didn't hear lust. I didn't hear be my baby mama. Um, knock you up and go get on Medicaid. I didn't hear that. Heard love. Just saying. Um, and um, it's a a light side femme reader you're about to fall in love with. So a tarot reader. Um, it doesn't sound like you fell in love with her yet, but through many series of chain events. So, I think you care about her, or you're about to start caring about her, and that's what's about to bring the love and affection. Um, it doesn't sound like you fell in love with her yet. You already greatly admire her. You already greatly admire her, is what I heard. You already greatly admire her, but it sounds like soon it's about to, the feelings are about to develop deeper, if that makes sense. You're a light side. Aquarius masculine, and you can have Aquarius in any aspects of your charts, um, you're, you're masculine. And it's a femme tarot reader. It sounds like you've been watching her for a while. For a while. For a while. That's confirmation. For a while. You've been watching her for a while. She is a mother. She is a mother in what I heard. She is a mother. So she's a mother. Uh, I think she's a single mother. Because um, I would hope you're not falling in love with a married woman. Um, I heard your light side, so I don't think it's a married woman. I think you probably pass over that, and I'm just being real, and I think you're single. Very single. Very single. It's confirmation. You're very single, and I think she is too. I think she's single mother, because there she's a mother, and she's a tarot reader, and you've been watching her for a while, sir. Ladder, ladder climbing towards success. A new job is about to become significant in Aquarius' life. And a new job in a feminine energy fire sign's life is about to become significant in her life. A new job in an Aquarius' life is about to become very significant in their life. And a new job in a fire sign fan's life is about to become significant in her life. 
So one of you guys is pulling in a fire sign, Fem energy, Aries Leo Sag energy. She got Aries Leo Sag in her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Wolf, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. Does it sound like you've got the job yet, Aquarius? Or this fire sign, Fem hasn't yet, but it sounds like it's upcoming in the universe. And I think it's going to be successful for both of you guys because we have the climbing for success with this message. Um, very successful. As long as you put the work in and she puts the work in. But you both will. Okay, I heard both. That they're both going to be successful as long as you put the work in and she puts the work in. But I heard you both will. But, of course, as long as you both do it. As long as you put, both put the work in. So, you both will be successful at these new positions if you put the work in. Uh, for one, you're going to transfer new position in the company. For one, you're going to transfer a new position in the company. So for one, you're going to, you're already working in the 3D workspace and you're about to transfer to a new position in your company. So congratulations. Um, promotion, upgrade, something of that nature, I'm presuming. But you're already working. But it doesn't sound like she is. But uh, she might be. She might be. I didn't hear she was or she wasn't. But it's a new job for her, whether she's transferring in a company or not. But I heard she'll be successful too if she puts the work in too. But I heard you both will. So I think you both are hard workers is what I'm saying. I think you're both hard workers and you're not afraid of work or um, working or putting yourself out there um, is what I feel. It's a Aries Leo Sage is that person. Aries Leo Sage fit. First, pay attention to your finances. And Aquarius was realizing they were way overspending in the past. They have made some huge adjustments. Huge. It is about to benefit you in a huge way. Okay. Heard an Aquarius realized they were way overspending in the past, but I heard you made some um, huge adjustments, and it's about to benefit you in a huge way. So you plug it in how it resonates, Aquarius. Sounds like you've already had the wake-up call uh, about the way you were way overspending in the past. But it sounds like you've already adjusted it in your finances, in your budget, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I heard it's uh, about to benefit you in a huge way. So financial adjustments, budgeting, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. November. A Taurus investigator that should have given a fire sign feminine money in the past they they did not they withheld through many series of chain events they're about to this is about to become very significant in her life and your life okay a tourist investigator that was supposed to give a fire sign film money in the past um i heard they withheld they withheld it but um i heard through many series of chain events it sounds like they're about to give it to her, and I heard it's going to benefit you and her in a huge way. So, however, you know this fire sign femme, this Aries Leo Sage femme. She could have Aries Leo Sage in her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Wolf, Femme, and Hate, Jupiter charts. Heavy fire sign energy. Um, one, you're going to help her get it. One, you're going to help her get it. So, one, you're going to help her get it from this course investigator. That might be the important phone call one of you guys is going to make, possibly. Um, one, you're going to help her get it from the Taurus investigator. So I think for one, you know the Taurus investigator. But it sounds like he or she, Taurus investigator, has, was strategically holding the money back. But for one, you're going to help her get it from the Taurus investigator. I think you know the Taurus investigator for one. They could have Taurus in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Haven, Jupiter charts. If that resonates and applies for you, uh, Aquarius. November. The, the last two weeks in November are about to become huge weeks in an Aquarius's life. The last two weeks of November are about to become huge weeks in an Aquarius's life. So I feel that could be very positive or very negative, however that resonates in the class Aquarius. But the last two weeks of November, so we're 11-15 of 2022 right now. So... We've got two weeks and one day left in November. So the last two weeks of November, which is now up until the end. So I feel that can go in a positive or negative aspect. It's, I feel it's how you, what you make of it there, Aquarius. What you make of your last two weeks, how you handle situations, etc., etc., etc. Okay? Let me see if I hear anything else. 
Uh, we have Bryce. An Aquarius is really seeing who's telling the truth now and who's not. And they're about to take some great action. A very light side Aquarius. An Aquarius, very light side, high vibrational Aquarius, see, is seeing who is really telling the truth now and who's really not. And you, high vibrational light side Aquarius, you treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. You're about to take some great action. So you see who's really telling the truth, who's handling things in a graceful, tactful manner, who's really being truthful and graceful about a situation, how they're handling it. I think you care about this situation. Um, and you're about to take some great action, and I think it's going to be successful. And I think you're going to do it in November. So you plug it in, how it resonates, Aquarius. Pretty good reading, just saying, just saying. Uh, it really is a good reading. By the grace of God, a child's life is about to be saved through many series of chain of events. A child is severely being over-medicated, severely. Through many series of chain of events, a child's life is about to be saved by the grace of God, basically. Um, through many series of chain of events, I heard they're being severely over-medicated. For one, you know this, and you're about to take some huge, great action to help save the child's life. For one, you know this, and through many series of chain events, you're about to take some huge, great action to save the child's life. So for one, you know, it's it sounds like a matter of life and death situation. Like, I mean, I heard from the, the grace of God to save a child's life. I heard they're being severely over-medicated. So not just a little bit, a lot. And I heard um, through many series of chain events, one of you knows they are. It sounds like a life or death situation, or it could be if they don't get their medication adjusted. Um, and for one, you're going to help Save their life, basically. Um, you're a hero, sir, ma'am. You're a hero. My hat's off to you. All right. I love you guys. I hope this helps. Namaste.